Hi everyone, my name is Libby and today I'm excited to share with you product updates that have happened here at Field Pulse in the last month. Let's go ahead and take a look. Field Pulse recently released the ability to create a project directly from a job record. Maybe you've gone out to give an estimate or an evaluation to a customer and they've accepted and want to continue working with you. Instead of creating a project and clicking a bunch of extra buttons, you can now use the actions menu on that job to create and link a project directly from there. We'll select the actions button and then press create project. We'll be able to enter all of our project details as usual. And once we save, we'll see this job housed under the project. Once on the project record, I can see that job housed on the jobs page and quickly use the create job button to add the installation visit or any other services that I'll be providing. Another project feature that's been recently released is the ability to create and use project templates in the web app. When building a project using the create project button, simply toggle on save as project template. If you've used job templates before, these work the same way. Save a project as a template or build a project from an existing project template. This will save you time, ensure consistency, and allow you to build similar projects over and over again. You can find all of the project templates that you've created under the templates tab in the project section. This will allow you to edit, adjust, or delete these project templates as your business needs change. FieldPulse's price book has been improved over the last month too. The Pricebook editing experience has now been enhanced to be more intuitive and better to look at. After entering your basic information, use the Pricebook Builder arrow button to navigate to the next section. Here, you're able to build all of your Pricebook categories and subcategories, which will appear as folders. Click into any of them to see the flat rate jobs that are housed underneath. If you get lost or need to navigate back to the main page at any time, use the home icon. The same process is true for creating add-on lists and housing them here, nice and simple. Finally, you can build all of your flat rate jobs and then return to the main page to house them under those folders and organize your price book neatly. While this may seem like a minor change, I guarantee your price book building experience will be even better. If you wanna let your customers know who's calling them, consider setting up caller ID in Engage. To begin, you'll need to navigate to your Engage settings and click on phone numbers, and then select the phone line for which you'd like to set up a caller ID. You'll see this caller ID box where you're able to enter the details that you'd like to be used in your caller ID. Please note, there's a few requirements. Your caller ID needs to begin with a letter and be 15 or less characters. Once you've met those requirements and you're happy with your caller ID, press the Submit button. You'll be able to track the status of your caller ID approval on this page as well. So when it's live, you'll be notified. If you'd like to use caller ID for each of your phone numbers, click into them and follow the same process. Thanks for joining me today to take a look at the product updates that have happened here at Field Pulse over the past month. If you're new to Field Pulse, book a demo with us online today. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.